part of things. Um, I'm very proud to come, very proud to be here with uh, Gordon and Jim. Uh, over a year ago, the same thing happened to me. I worked for a housing charity. And I worked 18 months to get a pay deal, just like you did. And I was successful. And then I found myself out of the job. And, you know, I could go on. I think other people have put it better than me about how bad it is to attack the trade union just for doing what you're supposed to do and doing it well. But no one mentions that it's actually a human right for you to collect a bargain. It's actually a human right to be a representing uh, a union or be a trade union rep. And this just shows how bad they are. They're more than corrupt. Yeah? They're, they're, they're basically inhuman, literally. And, you know, when you have the MP, and when you have the council, when you have the union, when you have the people of Sheffield demanding that these people be thrown out of town, keep up the publicity, get rid of them. It's the only thing you can do. You can't, you can't have a, a situation where, a, you know, a council contractor is not paying the living wage, not having a toilet, having... Free labour, scab labour, that's not the big society. That's just criminality, it's corruption. And I'll do everything when I go back. I'll raise money, I'll do whatever I have to do to publicise this. Because if they do it here, they'll do it other places. We've got Veolia too in 20 London boroughs. We should be asking them every time that they do their dog and pony show for a contract. And they say what great, how great we are in training our staff and how supportive we are. Say, lo, look what you do here. You violate people's human rights. It's not on. Sorry. Thanks.